what's going on everybody welcome back to snowrunner uh we're gonna do this like hot potatoes because there's another contract right where this drops off that we can pick up right after so my assumption is we need to go pick up some of the potatoes we farmed still haven't done those other two farming tasks yet i just haven't felt like playing this game when I have the chance to play it when I'm not recording, so kind of is what it is. Yeah, it's literally right here. <clears throat> um, I will try to do it tomorrow during the day, though. I just I love playing Death Stranding during the day, so I just don't don't get this done. <clears throat> but I will do it tomorrow. Okay. Um, so we need to take the potato samples. I believe that's what this is. I believe I need to just use my potatoes there. God damn. Man, this is not a map for the Mastodon, that's for sure. I mean, even this one's getting fucking stuck from the stupid divots. All right, so we basically just need to work our way down this road. I love those little uh, railroad crossings on this map. They just like launch this truck. It's hilarious. Oh god. I don't know, it's just weird. It wasn't giving me a pickup point. So I'm hoping this is what I need for the railway terminal. If not, uh, it sucks. But I would I don't see why it wouldn't be this. So. I'm not too concerned. It wouldn't make sense for it to not be this, so. Just to drop it off. Or is it here? Yeah, that's uh, not right. So, where the hell do I get the potato samples from? Is it not on this map? Hot like potatoes. Potato samples. Understand. It doesn't make any sense. It's literally the same icon. Uh, well, um, I don't know. That's weird, but we're gonna just. back this up and do the other contract that's right here that we can do because I don't know it's very strange I have no idea what these potato samples are I don't maybe it's on a different map I have no idea 
So we need to detach this because we don't need it. I don't know, it's strange. I'm just gonna leave them on my truck for right now. I'll drop them back off over there. I don't know, it's very, very weird. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna have to come back here anyway, so that's fine. I mean, I guess I could have brought a trailer over here and just winched this trailer, but it's not a big deal. We'll just come back and get those. So this needs to go to the workshop, which is all the way down here. Um, so we just need to follow the road. Nah, I mean, I could just follow the train tracks, I guess, but we'll take the road. And then here. I still don't understand this potato samples thing. I'm really confused on that, and I don't... Maybe? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. I'm going to drop these off, though, back at that field, so I don't have them on my truck anymore. I'll need them for something at some point, but I don't know. I kind of had a feeling it wasn't going to work, but uh, at the same time, I was kind of like, I don't really know where to get potato samples. My guess is it's from, a diff it's from one of the other maps. I don't know. It just seems odd. But there's been some weird things like that in this game before, so it wouldn't surprise me. You know what? I'm gonna pull this trailer over here. And then we're going to take this trailer, load it up with the service spare parts, and then we're just gonna winch this trailer behind us. Because otherwise it's just gonna take forever. I think that's the best solution. I think I can get over there by either going through these woods or by going this way and squeezing through back here. Damn it. I tried to scratch my neck and uh, had to let go of the controller for a sec. Um. Okay, let's see if we can get through over here. I don't know if we can or not, but if we can, it would save driving all the way around there. I think we can. This way, we don't have to make two trips, and we can just do it on the go.
Why is my camera being stupid? that the crane winch moved faster it's so slow it's like it doesn't unless you're also lifting it with like l1 it doesn't move it up very fast so like it's just i don't know it's always annoyed me but. there we go now i would like to go back that way as well but i feel like that shit's gonna stop me up trying to get this trailer turned around in this little tight spot. Hopefully we can just give her the good yank and she'll go over it. Oh yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. Alright, now... <clears throat> drag this trailer and this these service parts over there all at once and I will drop these potatoes off then as well I'll just leave them sit out over there they'll be fine pick them up whenever I do need them because I'll need them at some point but I don't know you know, I don't know when that'll be. Oh my god, why can't I turn this truck? I'm having a lot of trouble with it. Quite the long shit. I was not, I was watching the trailer behind me because I was trying to winch it as close as possible. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, we're good. Okay, so we need to go... What the hell? What the hell did I just hit? What am I hitting? There's like nothing in the road. Why is it... I'm so confused. Am I hitting like rocks or something? I do need to get some fuel. I don't know if I pass a fuel station here. I still don't know this map very well, so I don't remember where the fuel station is. Should we drop this off now? Yeah, we can. Let's just drop this here now. Can I, like, put these back? That'd be great if I could put them back, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. Um, let's just... I'll just drop them here. They'll be all right here. Yeah. 
Nothing's gonna hurt. Or it's not gonna hurt anything. We've been just laying there. It'll be fine. I don't know. I might have to look that up. Or we'll just leave it and I'll figure it out. Later. I don't, I don't know. Either way, I'll figure it out. Oh, damn it. I always forget when you use a crane, it acts as your winch. It's so stupid. Like, why? Oh, I didn't repack either. Could have been bad. Everything's all like jacked up now. What the hell, why? There we go. <sighs> I'm glad I I remembered to check, because if I would have driven off and not had this trailer, I'd have been pissed. But yeah, that's... You always gotta remember that. Like, if you're winching something like this, and then you use your winch for... Or you use your crane for something, it always detaches your trailer, because you are you can only have one winch point at a time. Alright. I realize I could have just gone that way and followed the train tracks, but... We're gonna go this way. fuel, I believe, right? Yeah. I think the gas station's literally right there. I think I drove past it. But, or I turned right before it. I think it was right down that road. But once we get rid of this trailer and everything, I'll find it. One thing that this trailer mod does is it adds a lot of weight. These trailers are heavy, especially when they're loaded. Like, Jesus. It makes your truck go slow, slow. Especially through mud. not being able to see. I can't stand it. I actually have a green elevator pretty close to my house. And uh, I mean, I live in a very rural area, so green elevators are, you know, obviously pretty common in my area but like one time my wife was like why is it called an elevator and I was like um, I guess because it elevates the grain I, I don't know <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason I mean I know there's like uh, conveyors and stuff that you know that goes up and it fills up in those silos but like I don't know why it's called a grain elevator so slow like come on 
We keep it keeps downshifting me. That's part of the problem. Could this be any tighter? Holy hell. Great, now the elevator is operational once again. How am I supposed to turn around in here? This is like the tightest... Like... <laughs> I don't, this trailer is going to get stuck 100%. There is no way I'm getting this trailer out of here. Well... All right, <laughs> never mind. Oh, and there's a task. Fixing the machinery is all fine and good, but our administrative wing here looks downright terrible. Ancient cracked desks, raggedy couches and chairs, far from what is appropriate for an honest business. All right, well, we'll do this. Uh, we need to get the consumables, which is all the way down the railroad terminal. Well, we're going to do it. what the easiest thing is to do and just follow the railroad track. Uh, we'll try to get this done. We should, should, it should maybe take 10 minutes to get there and back. We can just follow the railroad track. It should be pretty quick. But yeah, this was the final task that was missing. So other than this task, the only the other two tasks are the farming tasks. So like I said, I'll try to get those done tomorrow. You know, just I won't record it. I'll just get them done so that they're done because you know we've we've seen farming enough. I don't need to make more episodes with the farming. So anytime there's any farming that needs to be done, I'm gonna do it. Just and you know, just do it without recording it, just so that we don't waste time. But I'll try to get those done tomorrow during the day, and then uh, we'll probably end up moving to the next map soon. I haven't really looked through the other contract list. I've looked... the There's three contract lists. There's the top one, which both the contracts that are unlocked and available to do are on another map, the Heartlands. So we haven't gone there yet, obviously. So then the middle one, which is the one I've been working on, the Harvest, whatever, um, that is the one that has that weird potato one. And then there's a couple other ones that we could still do here, I believe. So like I said, I usually like to try to do everything on the map before I move on to the next map. Which, granted, I know, like, you'll we'll unlock things later on that we probably will have to do on this map later, but when I start out, I always just, you know, kind of finish what I can on the map, and when there's nothing else I can do on the map, I move to the next map, and then, you know, I do the same thing there, and that's kind of how I work my way through the region. I know that's kind of weird, and some people probably don't do it that way, but that's just the way I do it, so... All right, we need to go this way. Uh, but that's just kind of how I've always done it. I've always, I've always done it that way. Even before I recorded it, that's just how I did it. So. And it makes sense to me, so that's why I do it that way. I don't think I've ever gone down this way. 
Definitely haven't, because I've never gone through this station. Or I've just never gone that far, I guess. I mean, that's really the first time I've gone to that little uh, factory area. Or the grain elevator area. I mean, I've seen it. I just never, like, drove in there. Essentially the first time I've kind of been there. Yeah, that was quick to get here. Hmm. Is that a truck that I can drive? Yeah, it's the, that's the Tega B. Shit, I didn't realize that. that that's literally a truck that I can, I can have. It's my truck. I didn't even realize it was just sitting there. Alright. Uh, see mobiles. Four. Man, I, this is like the worst. I probably should have just backed out of here. But, like, I hate when they do this, when they, they don't give you any room to turn around. Like, you're driving these huge trucks and trailers and you can't give me an area that I can just easily pull in and get the stuff to turn around. It's so dumb. Always hated that. They do it all the time, too. It just makes no sense. Luckily, these trailers spin around pretty quick, so... Yeah, that's cool. I didn't even realize that that was just sitting there like that, so. I do really like the, like, OG Tega. I've never used that one, though, because I think that one, that was introduced in this, uh, this DLC, so. i just never driven it. I don't know, I don't remember. I, th I almost want to say that I think the um, the smaller Tega people prefer over the bigger one, but I could be wrong on that. I haven't really heard much about that Tega. I'm a train. It straddles these tracks perfectly. I don't even really have to steer. Like, I'm not steering at all. Sure, it's like I'm going the right way.
<clears throat> it's just so funny. I was going so much faster with an empty truck, and then like you put stuff on the truck, and you just go noticeably slower. And I understand why. And I do know that if you unpack the cargo, it weighs less than packed, but I just, it's not that important to me. I just think it's funny how drastically different the truck acts when it has a load versus when it doesn't have a load. Driving on the tracks may, you know, may have been hindering the speed a little bit too, just because I was constantly like rubbing my tires against it. Ten minutes exactly. That's pretty good. All right, now we can visit. Now we can take visiting delegations without looking like some backwater hillbillies. Thanks for your help. Yeah, sure, no problem. All right, so the Kalari group. These two are both Heartlands, so we can't do those until we go to the Heartlands. Harvest Corp. Ah, uh -huh, like potatoes, lost tech, that's just, that's in the institute, so yeah, we gotta go to the institute for that. Heartlands. 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 So I don't know, this one's confusing, like, where do I get the potato samples from? I'll have to look it up. And then this one... That's not a rocket. I don't... Why does it say assembled... Rocket? I'm confused. Is it just like it doesn't have, like it's called an assembled rocket? Why? I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll do this one in the next episode because it's um, really all we have left. Cause I do have these two tasks to do, but like I've said, they're farming ones. So I'll do them without recording it. And then this is really the only other thing we have to do on this specific map. Um, other than this hot, like hot potatoes one, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I may have to look that up because I'm confused. So anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.